Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Firstly, I did end up doing the keratins. My hair is yummy licious and then i also have on these um powder nails i'm not the type and i'm so not used to it but i'm kind of feeling it i think it's just a cool different change you know so we're gonna have these for the next two weeks i'm pretty excited for today's video i wanted to share with you guys my lip gloss declutter video so to date i've already done my eyeshadow palette declutter bronzer highlighter blush liquid lipstick declutter video and foundation declutter video all of those videos will be linked down below in the description box uh for today i figured i would tap Tackle my glosses. Oh my god, all that noise. For today, I figured I would tackle my glosses because I definitely want to do a full in depth makeup collection um, in the upcoming new year. And I definitely want to just like get rid of what I don't need and keep kind of like what I need, you know? So yeah, for today, we're going to be doing that. I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get started. Definitely have to clean this up a bit, but isn't that beautiful? My mother actually made that for me, the heart with the flowers. She's so cute. Um, anyway, so here is where I keep my makeup. Most of you guys know this. For my glosses, I want to say no. Yeah, they're all in here. So like I mentioned, just like in my liquid lipstick declutter video, I only focus on what was in the drawers. So with this as well, I'm gonna focus on what is in the drawers. And then for what's like around, like on the shelves and all of that, I'll figure that out, I guess in a different video or something. But I definitely wanna tackle this for today. It's my last declutter of 2020, whoa. Okay, so first up I have these three glosses here from Wet n Wild. These were nice at the time. Uh, they felt pretty comfortable. I don't really wear them too much now. They were also limited edition. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and declutter all three these glosses from tower 28 are heaven love all of their formulas thus far so i'm definitely gonna keep these amongst my favorites so so good i then have these three glosses here one from ofra from the madison miller collection the lemonade one from dominique cosmetics and then this Too faced one i think i'm gonna keep the dominique one just because i don't know i think it's pretty cool and i'm gonna get rid of this one and this Next, I have two of the Wet Cherry Glosses here from Lime Crime. Love this formula. I really adore this shade. The Claire one is somewhere. I think in my Claire makeup drawer or something. So yeah, definitely keeping that one. But yeah, I'm keeping this. And I think I'm going to keep this as well. Even though I don't love this color, but I love the formula and it's really pretty on. It gives like a nice high shine. So I'm going to keep both. Next, I have these three glosses here from L'Oreal. These are nice. I just don't tend to use them too much. I feel like at the time I really enjoyed them. But now I'm not really that into these. So I'm going to declutter all. These are just a few more that I'm going to go ahead and declutter. Another one of the Wet n Wild Glosses, this Thrive Cosmetics one, and then this Pure one. I just don't tend to use them way too much, and there are other ones that I enjoy more, so I'm going to declutter all. Then I have four of these glosses here from Marc Jacobs. I'm going to get rid of all. This was limited edition, which was pretty cool. Um, and I'm just going to keep this one, though. This is in Daisy. I'm looking for Sugar Sugar. I can't find it yet, but hopefully I will. But I'm going to keep this and get rid of these three. Then I have these two glosses here, the Elf Retro Paradise one. That's just so pretty on the lips to add like that. Just like multi-dimensional look you know and then i have this zoeva one really pretty glittery one but it's super smooth on i'm gonna keep both these two by abh i don't tend to use too much i mean i just kept the other two and i'm very happy with those i think i'm gonna go ahead and declutter these i have more of those like glittery type of glosses i think all of these came in ipsy i'm not crazy about these not gonna lie so i'm gonna declutter all Okay, then I have five of these Beauty and the Beast glosses. This was in collaboration with Lorac. Love Disney, love Beauty and the Beast. It's one of my favorite movies ever. My sister-in-law's name is Bella. We call her Belle sometimes, so. I don't know, it's just cute. Um, a part of me kind of wants to keep this because of the, like, collector in me. And then also, like, the fact that I love Disney. But I really don't use them because I can never recommend them... I can never really wear them without feeling bad that you guys can't purchase them because they were limited edition. Um, I think I'm just gonna keep maybe the red one for just like the nostalgic reasons and declutter the other four. I could probably just give some to my cousin like Hodaya and Leora, my two cousins, um, and they'll probably be so happy because I know they love Disney as well. Then I have these two from Pure. They do have a lot of the hits and misses. This is um, These are amongst their hits, I wanna say. Since I do have a lot of these kind of shades and these kind of shades, I'm gonna declutter these, but these were still pretty good. I do have two more glosses here from Mark. Jacobs. I cannot find sugar sugar. Uh, but this one right here is in a moon glow. It's very, very light. I'm gonna keep that one. I'm gonna get rid of this. Okay, I then have these three glosses here from Becca. I think that this one is limited edition and maybe so is this one. I'm gonna keep this one though. This is in opal. It's such a stunning, very light, light nude, which I'm about. So yeah, keep this, declutter these. Two more Becca glosses here that I'm gonna declutter. I have Chrissy Teigen and then Snapdragon. So I'm gonna say goodbye to these. Then I have this one right here from Too Faced, which I'm not a massive, massive fan of. I love the buxom ones more. Um, I'm gonna declutter this one. I don't even know where I got that from. And then the Iconic London one is nice, but I have other shades that I like more than that one. So declutter all. 
I then have these three here, another one of the ABH ones, which I'm going to declutter. This one right here by Too Faced. I was into it when it came out, not so much anymore. Bought that for the full price tag. I know they had that, those at TJ for a while, but I bought that for the full price tag. And then this is what I'm going to declutter too. I am also going to say goodbye to all of these. The Elme Gloss, um, the middle one. What is that? Bella Pierre. And then this one as well. I think I got these two in Ipsy. Then I have these plumping lip products from Revlon. I do have the full line. I purchased all of them a while back to do like a lip swatch video. And I love the formula. It's actually very nice. Pretty plumping. Um, I have the lighter shades somewhere else. I think on my shelf somewhere, which I probably will keep those. But for these, I think I want to declutter because um, I don't wear such shades often. But then also, I don't really wear them a lot. Like, especially if they're more glossy because I feel like they're always on my lips kind of thing and these are more of like the glossier type of formula so I think I'm going to say goodbye. I also have four of these Vamplify glosses here by MAC. Some limited edition packaging, some not. You guys can see nude sheets because that's my gem of life. Um, I had a hard time with these for a while because I spent so much on them but they are definitely more on the older side. I think I'm just going to back to MAC this and kind of call it a day. Um, it was nice to have in my collection for the time being but I think it's time to say goodbye. Oh, actually, no, I have more of these in these drawers. Uh, so, yeah, these are definitely shades that I typically do wear more often, and especially in the glossy formula, I, I don't mind it. Um, these are all so similar in a way, I would say. So, maybe, like, one of my cousins would enjoy this. Like, I don't feel like I need all, but I will. <laughs> I will keep um, this one and declutter these. I have two more goods here. One of the MAC glosses, which I'm not, I don't like this color. And this actually, I don't like the color either. I hate this color on me. This specific one looks terrible. I have one of the infallible paints here in a blue shade, which I am going to keep only because, you know, in case I have like that specific look that I want to go for and I need something like this, I think it would just be nice to have around. I think I only have one bluish shade, so I think I'm going to keep her. I then have two of these glosses by Buxom. Love their formula. I have Dolly and Erin. You guys can see I use these pretty, I'm pretty these in the mouth, let me tell you. I think I'm going to keep both. I am also going to keep this one in white Russian. Love this one. These two I'm going to go ahead and declutter. This lip injection by Too Faced and this wet and wild gloss. Okay, then I feel like I have a ton of these little ones that was part of like a holiday collection from Tarte. I think I'm going to go ahead and declutter all because they were limited edition. Also, many of the shades are shades that I typically don't wear anymore, really. So I think I'll pass these along. So declutter these three. And then for these shades as well, I'm going to declutter. And then these three I'm going to declutter too. Then I have these three glosses here from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I think I'm going to keep all of them. They're so pretty on the lips. More Zoeva glosses. So two more glittery ones and more like cream finish. These are so heavenly. Keeping. These little ones from Becca, I'm going to say goodbye to. Three more that I'm going to say goodbye to. So this right here is some Dose of Colors. I have a Bite Beauty one that was limited edition. They don't have it anymore. And then this Alamar one I want to say goodbye to as well. Next up, I have these two MAC lip glasses. Uh, I think these are cream sheen finishes. This is a limited edition one. This is like a regular one, declutter. Then I have this one right here from Kaleidos and this Morphe one. I think I want to say goodbye to both. I have two of these Vice uh, special effects lip products here as well from Urban Decay. Goodbye. I have these two from Soap and Glory. This one right here is fairly new to me. This one right here, I, I, I didn't even know I had. <laughs> That's how much I have in here. So now that I'll have much less, I'll be able to really use and see what I have. So I'm keeping both. Then I have these three here. So this beautiful one from Butter London. It's so pretty to top over anything. It has like that nice glittery vibe. This pixie one is also really nice keeping. And this Artist, Artist Couture one, I... I Okay, I purchased this in the summer and I didn't get much use out of it. I still want to play around with it. It's stunning, so I'm keeping all three. I then have these two right here by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I think I'm going to declutter this one, but keep this glittery one. Next up, I have this from Kosas and this from Lila B, keeping both. This NYX Butter Gloss is amongst my favorites, so I'm keeping this little one. And then this Essence one is the plumping one, which I've had in my collection for a bit now, but I didn't really like use it to its tea to see like what the vibe is like so i don't want to just say goodbye just to say goodbye so i think i'm going to keep it in my collection and see if it's really really good or if it's not i'll keep you posted of course i then have these few here from grande cosmetics i think i want to declutter all then we have this wet and wild pac-man <laughs> pac -Man, pac man one this revlon one and then this tart one which i'm going to say goodbye to all we have the lip plumping one here by ulta i think it was part of a kit that i can never speak about because I think it was limited edition, so I'm going to declutter. And another one of these tart ones, which I'm going to say goodbye to. I think I'm going to say goodbye to these little ones as well. One Pixie, one of these Urban Decay ones, which I have in the full size already. This MAC one, which I don't like the color of. And then another one of the Becca ones that came in the kit. Next up, we have these. This was a tart limited edition one. This Jouer one is nice, but I, I'm, I'm okay to part with it. And this melted latex one kind of sucks, so goodbye. I'm going to keep this Tower 28 one, even though it's not a shade I wear often, but I love the formula. Plus, it's more sheer, so it's fine. But I'm going to get rid of this one from Ulta Beauty. Another Tower 28 one I'm going to keep. 
Okay, and then these here I'm gonna declutter. This right here is some Ciate. It's a glitter, gloss declutter. This MAC Primetime. I don't know what the deal with this one is. It just feels really weird on the lips. Even though it's supposed to make your lipsticks last longer, I don't like how it feels, so declutter. Um, this one right here is more like a lip balm, lip oil, really. But I think I'm gonna say goodbye. I have this from L'Oreal, which I'm gonna declutter too. And then this Genude Gloss. I love the formula, but the color is not one that I wear often, so I think I'm gonna say goodbye. This right here is also one that I'm gonna declutter. It's NARS Orgasm, which used to be everything. And these days I feel like, I don't know if it really is, you know, but I'm gonna part ways. These are the remaining three, I'm gonna keep all. This right here was a gift from one of my subscribers, Izzy. Love her, it's so cute. Love Jerry. Um, I'm gonna keep this Lancome one that I got in a Sephora favorites kit. And then this right here from the Sephora collection brand is like a plumping gloss and it's pretty nice. I use a decent amount I want to keep. Okay, so of course now I'm going to wipe this down, organize everything, let you know how much I kept and let you know how much I decluttered. Here's what the drawer looks like after I decluttered. So I did go ahead and keep 39 in total, which is a little bit more than I wanted to keep, um, but I really love glosses. I just, I'm, I'm, I'm in love <laughs> with glosses. So I still think that I kept a good amount compared to how much I also decluttered. So let me share with you guys what I got rid of. Okay, so I lined up everything here. I got rid of 96. I think I'm gonna get rid of four more to make it even 100. <laughs> Let's do this. Okay, so back to the drawer. So these two Marc Jacobs uh, lip glosses look so similar. I don't think I necessarily need both. I'm going to keep this one and declutter this. So three more after this one. Also, I do have a white Russian in the full size. So I'm going to declutter. In this section here, I do have a lot of these glittery tone shades. So I think I'm going to declutter this one. Okay, and then I think I'm going to go ahead and declutter this one as well. So there, that's an even 100. So I ended up only keeping 30 five as opposed to the 39 and then once again here are the 100 glosses that i just decluttered so that is pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed watching my lip gloss declutter video looking forward to reading your comments down below let me know how you guys think i did and i'll see you guys in my next video bye